So here is the ANOVA summary table for two-way ANOVA. And you notice that instead of just having one between effect, we have a main effect for factor one, main effect for factor two, and then we have the interaction effect. And then below here, we have the within mean squares <coughs> or uh, the error variation. And to get the F ratio for the row, what we do is that is the mean square of the row divided by mean square within. For the F ratio of the column, we do mean square columns divided by mean square within. And for the F ratio of the interaction, we do mean of square interaction divided by mean of square within. So then we so we get for each of these uh, effects here, we get a F ratio and a probability. Right? And we always start interpreting the two-way ANOVA with the interaction effect because the interpretation of the two main effects depends on if there is an interaction or not. So this is the end game here of the two-way ANOVA.